And now we will tell you that this, the Cavaliers officials or management are upset that the Jamaica Football Federation and the PLC have not allocated any Monday night football fixtures, that's the, that's, that's the, the televised game, to Cavaliers Football Club. Because under the rules, um, host televised games in Jamaica um, for Premier League, you'll have to turn on your lights two hours before the game and the lights must, must be remained on for two hours after the game. And Cavaliers are saying that will be an, an extra cost to them. And they're saying these lights here, here they go, they go almost scored, <laughs> all right? And, it, and these lights out are here at the Stadium East facility, the home, the home ground of Cavaliers, to turn on these lights for one hour. The cost is 30,000 Jamaican dollars. For two hours, they're gone 60. And for four hours, it will cost the club 120 grand to turn on, to turn on these lights. That's Jamaican dollars to turn on these lights. Plus, the, the match again last one and a half hours. So you're, so you're um, talking about a pretty, a pretty sum there. And you add another um, 30 grand there to the 120. They're gone 150. And maybe the half time break. They had a half an hour again is another 15 grand. So the half time break is another half hour again, another 30 grand again. So do the math. So and they're saying that the club cannot afford that high leg legacy bill to host modernized football game because it's, it's, it's they cannot turn on their lives two hours before the game and two hours after the game and it, that's the rule of the PLC and JFF that to host football games, televised games on Mondays you'll have to turn on your lights two hours before the contest and remain on two hours after the game so on, ba on that basis Cavaliers have been denied the opportunity to host football televised games on Mondays because the cost of electricity that comes with hosting football game here on, on a Monday night. Wow.